So before we go any further with this video, very quickly I would like to say apologies because I've recorded the entire thing, I've sat down to edit it and realised the microphone wasn't recording the entire time. So I'm just going to use the camera audio because it's quite late in the day and if I try to re-record it now, it's probably not going to be up for a decent time. So, yeah. Apologies for that. It won't happen again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, so it's the start of a new week. And of course, still another week without any midweek fixtures. Celtic don't play till the weekend again, which means we don't have much to talk about, but a few things in the news that we can sit and rubbish today. How exciting. Before we go any further with today's video, please, as always, make sure to hit like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Now, just a very quick disclaimer, I go on my holidays at the end of the week. Friday, I'll be away off to Spain. I'm away for a week. But there will still be somewhat daily-ish content. Not going to promise daily because I'll probably be rough every single day. <laughs> but I'm still taking my equipment over. We'll still try and get stuff done. But you've got me up until Friday, so we'll try and push something out every day on the preparation and the build-up to then. But there will be match reactions from Spain. Um, so be excited for that, a bit different when you're looking at me rough on a balcony reporting. So before we talk about any actual news today, it's a new season of course, it's a, a sort of fresh beginning on the channel for many reasons because this is my first season doing YouTube full time, you know, I, every other season I've been tossing up YouTube with work, with studying, I've still got studying to do this year but a, a lot of pressure off my back, a lot of free time in my hands this season with the, the fact that this is my, my job basically. So I want to do things a bit differently and I want to bring out fresh ideas and I want to try and recapture some of the the old memories from the channel and some of the old content that, that really got me to the point where I am. A lot of people recently have been asking me to get those videos back where I get to you know display a lot of my personality and, and a lot of the fun that we had back when I was 16, 17, not really, not really caring about my reputation or such. I'm not saying that professionalism is going to go out the window, but I understand that. I want to bring back some of the content and some of the opinions and, and styles that, that really made me individual and in, in what I've done. And uh, that has buffed the creation of something new and a, a new fresh idea that I want to go forward with. Now this is very dependent on how it is received, it might not even happen because well I, I need audience participation for it to, to work. You remember back in the days I used to do like the Celtic versus English fans videos, I would basically ridicule every English fan who had a honking take on social media. Remember that, I would just pull up their tweets, pull up their Facebook posts and give them a right good slagging. Um, that was fun, that was good. Back in the day I enjoyed that. I've not done one in a while, they're some of the most popular videos on this channel. And I want to bring back something similar. So I have created this here, the Ryan118 subreddit, which I'm hoping many of you will join. We've got 45 members as of creating it this morning. Hopefully we can get that up into the hundreds and maybe close to thousands. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, make the assumption that thousands will join, but hopefully we can get a good, a good few hundred people into this subreddit. Now, I know not everyone is familiar with Reddit. I'm not even familiar with it myself, but essentially it's a community space for all of you guys to join. And I just want you to basically post whatever in it, uh, whether it be your reaction to the games that we play midweek or at the weekend, whether it be some honking social media takes from the weekend, just post whatever and I think every Monday to replace the old back pages series, we're going to do a sort of Reddit reaction thing where we'll get everybody's thoughts and opinions, we'll react to some of those honking takes and we'll just have a bit of fun and I can poke fun at different people for some absolute shite that they post. So for example, just to run it through very quickly, this is the Reddit you can join by looking up the r slash Ryan 118 subreddit, I'll have the link in the description. So for example, the first thing we got posted was from someone called FanOnable881 and they posted Roger Hanna's um, opinion that he thinks that John Sutter will be player of the season in the Scottish Premiership this year. Now, for example, we'll have a bunch of things that will be posted in here and then on the Monday we'll react to it, I'll give my opinion. So I would give my opinion to Roger Hanna saying he thinks John Sutter will be player of the season. My reaction to that right now is... Pfft. And similarly, here we've got uh, someone who posted this, a could be meme, this is like, we can have fun as well, they are quite funny, like, I laughed at this, someone put, Greg Taylor put in a good shift with a Shaquille O'Neal meme saying, I owe you an apology, I wasn't really familiar with your game. Um, so we can, you know, discuss a two minute, three minute segment on Greg Taylor, his improvement as a player, and then for example, I posted one of the most honking takes of the weekend, what I thought was um, about Joe Hart's apparent, you know, retrospective ban he should receive for, for barging into a player. 
Um, I thought that was funny. So, you know, I just a, a bunch of different things could get posted in this this place, this space. You can all talk to each other. I can communicate with you as well. It's just a sort of kind of place to have some fun and, and talk about Celtic and talk about some of the shite opinions. And then maybe every week we'll have a video where we look through the community. People like K you if you if you're familiar with like KSI, for example, he does it the second channel all the time. He'll log on and he'll look through the, the community section and see what videos and memes and stuff are put in there. But I want to use it as a place to discuss Celtic, come on every Monday, better than talking about what's in the back pages of the newspapers. So hopefully it's an idea that can work. Um and we'll hopefully start it from next week. Maybe, if there's enough posts and stuff to, to, to do it. So I'm relying on you guys to join. Please come and join the subreddit. It costs absolutely nothing. You just need to make a Reddit account and you guys can be involved. Right, so actually into the Celtic news for today. Once again, just like it has been over the past few days, it's quiet. There's not much happening. Over the past half an hour or so, a major story broke um, from Denmark considering John Kennedy and his position with Celtic at the moment. So according to Danish media outlet BT, not British Telecom, another BT, um, Kennedy is being investigated as a potential candidate for the now vacant FC Michelin job um, over in Denmark, a side who finished second in the Danish Premier League last season. I'm looking for a new manager following the sacking of, let me check, let me get the name right, Bo Henriksen, yes, that's the name, I forgot it there briefly. He's been sacked by Mitchell and they're now looking for a new manager and out of nowhere, John Kennedy's name has been linked with the job. He's been investigated and, and, and that's the word they use, by the way, investigated. Makes it sound very serious, doesn't it? They're making sure he's, he's not a dodgy guy before he gets interviewed for the job. But in the same article, BT have also went on to claim that John Kennedy would be very interested in becoming the new coach of Mitchell and now. In the article itself, I can't tell if that's just their own opinion that John Kennedy would be very interested in the job or if there is actually substance behind the matter to say that John Kennedy has, has declared interest in the job. He's maybe been asked. There's nothing else that really says anything there. There's nothing to suggest that they have communicated with Celtic or John Kennedy himself. There's nothing there to say that he's absolutely going to be a, an interviewee for the job. There is apparently just an investigation into the fact that John Kennedy could be considered an option. Now, of course, Kennedy has been linked with a couple of jobs recently in the past year or so when Aberdeen sacked Stephen Glass. His name was thrown into the mix. Hibbs, when they got rid of Sean Maloney, once again, John Kennedy's name was thrown into the mix. And of course, Kennedy himself has had a spell as interim manager of Celtic when Neil Lennon was sacked at the end of that COVID season. He was in charge for the, the last few, I say the last few games. It felt like an eternity, John 10 games Kennedy. Um, he was in charge to the end of the season to try and steady the ship. Didn't exactly work out, but he, he stayed on. He's been here as assistant manager under Ange Postecoglou, but there is no denying that there probably is a thought across the mind of John Kennedy that he would maybe like to take a step into management. An incredible servant to Celtic. Look, listen, if you've, if you've watched this channel long enough, you know, I've always been a big fan of John Kennedy. I've always ad kind of adored him uh, for his services to the club, a career that was cut short by injury. He went straight into working with the club. He's been here a long time, assistant manager to, to Brendan Rodgers, Neil Lennon, now Ange Postecoglou. He worked formerly as a, a coach before that. You know, he's been a real great servant to the club. And if you go back a few years before the disaster that was the Neil Lennon reappointment, I really did think that John Kennedy would become manager of Celtic one day. And on this channel, I think in a predictions video for the next 10 years, the next decade I said that John Kennedy would manage Celtic now he, he kind of had that opportunity as interim boss but we all knew he was never going to get the job permanently if he was ever given the job permanently it would have been a disaster at that moment in time it would have been a real kind of indictment of how the board were acting at that moment so it was never going to happen we got Ange Postecoglou Kennedy questions were raised if he would even stay with the club if there was going to be a reshuffling of the backroom team but no he stayed uh, and he's been a vital part of the success that we've seen with Ange Postecoglou over the past 12 months or so I would be sad to see Kennedy leave to be honest I would like him to stay with Celtic and I think that, you know, I said in the intro to this video, we're going to rubbish these stories. I think this is one that you have to take with a pinch of salt. There's no denying that if there is an opportunity there, Kennedy might look into it. But I just feel like Mitchell and a club is, uh, are probably going to look at other options before they look at John Kennedy. Maybe more native to Denmark rather than taking the chance on a Celtic assistant manager. Um, I, I would be very surprised if this goes much further than rumours and, and, and potential. I, I don't really see it going too much further. But I would be sad to lose Kennedy. I think that he's he, he knows the club so well. Everybody rants and raves about him. You rarely hear a bad word in the house from Celtic. Now, I know there was a point in time where 
just before Postacoglu came in, everybody kind of wanted to see him go, but he's always been someone I'm, I'm more than happy to see around the club. I've always been a big fan of him, and uh, clearly he, he, he gets on really well with everyone there, including Ange Postacoglu, or he would have replaced him by now. But he's done a great job as assistant. He's managed to get rid of the body language place as well. I would like him to stay, but who knows? Maybe it's an opportunity that he'll explore if it, if it goes any further. A club like Michelin, though, is an attractive opportunity for John Kennedy. It's a place to go and potentially win trophies in your first proper job as a manager. You know, this is a club that's always up the top end of the, the Danish league table. They're always qualifying for European football as well. It's quite a good opportunity for him if he decides to, to take it, if it goes any further. So I wouldn't blame John Kennedy. I don't feel like there's any... If it does go in that direction of, of getting more serious, I wouldn't blame him for exploring that option. If he did manage to, to get a, a role there and maybe leave the club, I wouldn't hold anything against him. It's a real good opportunity for him if he wants to get into management. Listen, John Kennedy's not getting any younger, and if he wants to be a manager, now is probably the time to strike. Um, we've got a good coaching team with us as well, of course. We've brought in Harry Kuehl, and maybe that raises the question, was, was Harry Kuehl brought in for this sort of situation? Maybe there was uh, anticipation within the club that someone like Kennedy could move on. But right now, everything's good behind the scenes. I would love Kennedy to stay a part of that. And I think, just as I said, it's kind of take it with a pinch of salt at this moment in time. And talking about taking things with a pinch of salt, there's been a transfer rumour over the past couple of days which has really came out of the blue, um, if you pardon the pun, because it's from Chelsea. Ross Barkley being linked with Celtic. I thought it was a wind-up. I thought it was just one of those nonsense Twitter rumours at first that, that Ross Barkley could have uh, been linked with the club. But no, apparently Celtic have been credited with an interest in signing Ross Barkley from Chelsea who looks to be moving on from what has been a sort of stagnant point in his career. Someone who was billed to be uh, a, and someone who I actually really, really liked when he was at Everton when he was breaking through at a younger age. A lot of the taglines comparing them with Wayne Rooney when he was at Everton. Uh, and rightly so, because he was fantastic. He's 33 caps for England as well. Big move to Chelsea. He's a really talented football player. He managed to recapture some of his early form at Aston Villa as well a couple of years ago. But things haven't quite worked out at Chelsea. Um, Celtic, however, apparently interested in some capacity in making a move for the Englishman. Now, can I just quickly say... Ross Barkley is someone who, over the, if you ask me at any point through his career, would I love him at Celtic? I'd say absolutely yes. But right now, it just feels like it's it's absolute nonsense because it just doesn't fit into this team at the moment. Who do you take out to, to replace with Ross Barkley? You don't take out Ryo Hitati or Matt O'Reilly. You don't take out David Turnbull. And listen, Ross Barkley probably is a better footballer than those guys. That's, that's probably just being honest, but... I don't think he's got any divine right to walk up into a Celtic team and then take their place. So I, I do think it's it's nonsense. I feel like an attacking midfielder like him who would need to start at Celtic when you're thinking about wages and things like that, I just don't feel like it makes a lot of sense whatsoever. So I think that it is, once again, I take it with a, a pinch of salt sort of transfer rumour. There's a whole host of clubs that are being uh, linked with his, with his uh, signing. Um, and I think Celtic, out of all of them, look the least likely. Everton, apparently the favourites to sign him, of course. The club where he started his career, I would imagine him. He I'd imagine him as someone that wants to stay in the Premier League. Now, I know Celtic offers Champions League football, but I, I feel like he's the kind of player that... He's been in the Premier League for so long, he's still at a really good age. He'll fancy his chances breaking back into a Premier League starting eleven. Apparently, Brighton, Newcastle, West Ham and Aston Villa also looking at the opportunity. You look at clubs like West Ham and Everton and Aston Villa... He's had experience with Villa and Everton, West Ham of European football. To, to believe that Celtic would have a chance of signing him would be very pie in the sky, I think. Um, and as I said, over his career, I've always had a, a kind of I've always liked Ross Barkley. He's always a player I kind of um, look the, like the look of. But I mean, a hundred thousand pound a week he currently earns. I don't know where I don't really know where they're pulling this one from. I really don't. It's been popping up over different tabloids and all the rest of it. I just think it's completely unrealistic for Celtic to sign someone like Barkley. Just as I've been recording this video, I scrolled through Twitter and I've seen that the talks uh, of, of Ross Barkley have been quite rightly rubbished. Everything I basically said there are coming to the light. But, you know, just the story there for you anyway, Mark Henry shut it down saying it's far-fetched for Celtic um, to go for Ross Barkley. Basically everything I've been saying over the past five minutes. Pointless now, really, but there it is. There's some, <laughs> there's some content for you. Um, but it does raise the question, is there going to be more rumours popping up over the next week or so? Because it has been awfully quiet, but we do know that Postacoglu wants to add names in. So maybe we'll hear something more 
more realistic over the coming week or so. Right, that's it for today then. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Make sure you join the day that I would love you to all join the community. It would be nice. I'll keep up to date with you in there and all that. Right, okay. That's me. Quiet Monday. Quiet, quiet Monday. Enjoy. See you all next time.